Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial today, basically because I am getting laser like rejuvenation on my body and I have literally no fake tan on bar instant tan. So I'm trying to do stuff like content around tan and makeup because I am scaldy at the moment, so hair is perfect. And I also was sent this new curling wand from T3 and I've used it twice now already and I really love it so I want to show it. And yeah, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to go for that kind of big bouncy blow dry look, just not using like a hair dryer or blow dryer to actually achieve it. Um, because most people can't actually achieve it with a hair dryer. So obviously I washed my hair already. I used this range from Kerastase. It's the Chroma Absolute. None, none of the content in this uh, video is sponsored by the way, I'm just sharing everything I used. It's the Chroma Absolute range from Kerastas. It's new, it's for really like damaged, sensitized hair, which is my hair. And I used the medium to thick shampoo. I used the fine to medium um, conditioner mixed with the mask. I do half and half. And then they also have this, which you put in before I am um, shampooing. I mean, before conditioning, after shampoo. And it's kind of like a little seal. It makes your hair so silky. I've obviously only used it three times, like I mentioned, but it makes your hair feel like silk, especially if you have coarse or thick hair or porous or dry hair or bleached or like processed or um, chemically damaged hair then this range is specifically um, designed for that so it's really good and then when I got out of the shower I used this this is from the same range it's basically just their leave-in product and this is the serum chroma thermique so it's for sensitized damaged color treated hair and it's like a UV and um, thermal protection and then like a leave-in conditioner as well so, I've also let my hair, sorry, and I obviously use purple shampoo. I use the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Purple Shampoo. This one is amazing. So I've left my hair kind of air dry for the last while. I'm gonna just blast dry it with my Dyson hair dryer. Some of you might be uh, familiar with the fact that I am awful at using the air wrap, but I'm determined to make it work for my hair. Can make it work, but just not with the look that I want. However, the Dyson hair dryer is it's a work of art. Honestly, it's worth every penny. I really, really recommend this. I've had this for a while now and I just can't go back to using any other hair dryer. I only really, really realized how good this was when I used a different hair dryer and then I noticed the difference. Makes your hair way less frizzy, dries it so much easier. Yeah, really, really recommend. So because this look is very voluminous and usually I'm trying to get the volume out of my hair, I'm gonna actually bring volume into my hair. So when I'm drying, I'm gonna flip my head upside down and dry my hair that way because that's how you get more volume. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back when my hair is dry. So this is my hair just um, blasted with a hair dryer. You can see you get so much volume when you put your hair upside down. I'm gonna brush through it um, really quickly. The only hair brushes I will ever use are the wet brushes. And I'm gonna turn this on. This is the T3 Curl ID Curling Iron. So you just hold down the on button here. And basically you can set it where it automatically will pick what you need. So you put in your hair texture, whether it's fine or medium or thick hair. And then you also put in if your hair is color treated or chemically treated as well. And then it automatically picks the setting that's the best for your hair that you'll get like optimal styling with the least amount of heat damage. We can also switch it to manual mode, which I really like because I was really rushed the last time I was using this. So I just put the heat up really quick so I could style my hair quicker. Not the best for my hair, but good if you're in a time crunch. So you have both options. I have it on manual at the moment. How do people look nice doing tutorials? I just never look nice. I need it to just be convenient. So we're curling away from our face either side and I'm clamping in the ends, if you can see that. So they get a curl at the end because that's that kind of look, you know, the blow dry look. So basically I'll do all of them away from my face like this, wrapping away from my, my um, face and then every now and then I'll do like a random one towards my face and that just stops the curls all kind of like melting into one like massive curl and um, it kind of creates more texture and stops them just clumping together and will also give more volume so the more pieces that you do in like an alternating direction the more volume you're going to get in your hair so what I usually tend to do is any of these kind of pieces that are like near my um, hairline I'll do all those away from my face and then the pieces that are kind of like hidden between my hair, I'll do those ones towards my face because you don't really see them then when the hair is down like in all this section and they'll just kind of like get lost within the rest of your hair. So say this piece back here, I'm gonna curl towards. So I'm gonna continue and then come back when I'm at the kind of front of my hair because basically it's gonna be the exact same thing just continued around uh, the rest. So when I get to the front pieces, I'll come back and show you how I kind of like top up and like touch up things. Okay, so this is basically all of my hair done bar 
the little front section. So what I usually do is, because I have a lot of damage around my hairline here and these bits don't really get styled and within the curlers because they're kind of a bit, you know, wispy and whatnot. I actually have my GHD straightener, so any straightener, and I just kind of like tame them a bit more. Yeah, they just get a bit like frizzy. Okay, so now that those bits are done, I'm gonna move on to the front section. And for the longer pieces, I'm actually just gonna continue. You can see how thick that piece that I'm taking is. Starting these as normal, so again, away from my face. I do think if you have like um soft layers around your whole head, like long soft layers, it helps with this look so much more because you get more movement. I do have like breakage around my hair. That's kind of like false layers. That should kind of help a little bit. But um, I'm thinking if I actually just cut long layers into my hair, it'll kind of help the broken bits, you know, kind of cut the end, dead ends off them and disguise it as a style instead of just like, you know, dead ends. Okay, so for these front bits then, I mean, I'm basically gonna continue how I always do. But just thought I'd show you because I know this is where some people kind of struggle is the front bits. And I just hope that it works out. Sometimes they work out better than others, you know. You can do it like the way people would kind of use a roller if you want. Um, if you want more volume in it. So, you know, away and back and away from your face like that. If you want to create more volume, I don't even know how this is going to look. And look at all my like broken bits, not even in the barrel. But we can compare the two sides now. So this is just like curled regularly. And this is with the kind of volume. So I'm going to let that cool down and then I'll kind of fluff it. I hate waiting for it to cool down. So I'm patient. That is all of my hair done. So I'm going to take my brush again and just brush out all of the curls. So they're not as like perfect we can see the difference like not brushed out and brushed out and then i'm gonna change my parting so i like to kind of style it with the middle parting and then flip it because you kind of get more um volume when you flip if you've kind of styled it in the opposite direction so this is that kind of like voluminous big blow dry look and um, by just using a really thick barrel you don't have to use this one either but if you're looking for a new one this is really good sorry the lighting's changing this one is really good the teeth three um products i don't know how they do it but it's something with like their technology or their barrel and um, makes your hair really smooth and silky okay so i've softened it out there with my ghd just so it's not as tight and more kind of like lived in loose i prefer it like this even if it's dropped a little bit more than this um, i prefer that and i just kind of flipped my parting over the other side if you curl it too much it's the days that I'm in a rush and I just don't even hold it in long at all that it works out better. So I probably curled it a bit too much today. So literally big pieces, don't curl it for too long. Don't curl it for too long. It will look like it's just a wave, but then when you let it all down, it actually works out better. But if you do over curl it like I do, then just running a straightener through it really quickly, it literally is like this to kind of flatten it out um, a bit more. But yeah, let me know what you think. And if you have any other suggestions for videos, then let me know down below. And thank you for watching.